catch your respect. Rule number one, never count your homie pockets that ain't you deserve. Rule number two, never set up for some purses. Rule number three, you better stop splurging. When it's all said and done, and you back at the bottom, they gon' treat you like you worthless. Respect the game. All right, man, let me turn that shit down. Let me turn that shit down. Hey, listen what he said, though. Oh, let me let me get the exact lyrics. So y'all don't think I'm capping. He said, rule number three, save you some of that money, shit, you better stop splurging. When you all said and done, you back at the bottom, they're going to treat you like you're worthless. Hey, bro, it's your boy Ty, we back, man. It's a different video, but, bro, without money, Sorry, bro. I mean, money ain't everything, but you not a damn thing in this world. I ain't even gonna lie to you, bro. Like, yeah, you might be valuable, personality, all that, but you're not gonna make it. But this video is 10 things that are essential to your life that you need to become successful at a young age. Most of my audience is at a young age, around my age. I'm 19, if you ain't know. And some folks be needing to hear some shit, like, what it take? A lot of folks be like, well, you gotta get you this, you gotta get your job, or you gotta invest, you gotta do this. Man, fuck about that shit, bro. Not everybody route gonna be the same, bro. Like, I'm not forget on this bitch to start sugarcoating. Like, I do this, I do that. No, I'm a regular. Excuse my French, I'm a regular nigga, bro. Like, I'm regular as fuck. Like, I don't be doing all this crazy shit that folks be claiming they be doing. Like, stop capping, bro. But without further ado, we gonna get right into the video. I got a list, so I'm gonna pull that up and then we're gonna get straight to it. All right, y'all, so let's get straight to it with step number one. And this is off my opinion. This ain't like, oh, I'm just a fucking Einstein. This is what you need to do. Like, this is my opinion, bro. But step one is a plan, bro. Without a plan, I feel like you, you basically pissing in the wind, bro. Like, you. You're not going to achieve nothing. So a plan, whether that's, hey, in six months, I'm going to go get me a house. In six months, I'm going to get me an apartment. In three months, I'm going to go get me a car, blah, blah, blah. Or I'm going to get this job, work this job, or I'm going to start my own business. Or I want to make this type of money for the rest of my life and retire my mama, my brothers, all that. Like, whatever your plan is, bro, whatever that consists of, like, you want to be mildly successful, you're going to be overly successful, whatever. So just a plan, bro. That could be anything, but just a plan to be successful. Like, what is your plan? Without a plan, bro, you <laughs> you just navigating through life blind. But that's step number one. On to step number two is some income. Because obviously we're talking about money. Being successful comes along with money and accomplishments, but mainly money. So as far as the income thing... Like I said, I'm not finna get on here and tell folks what they need to do to make money, any of that shit. Like, bro, you can work a job, you can trade stock. Shh, bro, it's so much shit. It's 2023. It's so much shit you can do, bro. I don't go the legal way, so I'm not finna talk about nothing illegal. Hey, boy. His ass making the cameras go off. Get over here. I don't do nothing illegal. I do not fuck with that shit. So if you do illegal shit, you don't be around me. But... Bro, anything legal, bro, like investing or money market, stocks, working a job, owning your own business, real estate, whatever, bro. Y'all know what I mean. Like, just anything legal, bro, like to get some income and a steady income flow to get to where you want to go as far as your plan. So as long as it go in line with your plan and you can achieve what you need to achieve, then, bro, you, you're making enough income. Third is a schedule, bro. A lot of folks, like, what you doing tomorrow? I don't know. Let me let you in on some insight, bro. I've been around a lot of successful people, and those successful people don't tell you they don't know what they're doing tomorrow. Okay, they might have an off day tomorrow. They might not be doing shit, but they're not going to say, I don't know. They're going to tell you, hey, I'm probably going to wake up, eat some breakfast, chill, watch TV, blah, blah, blah look at the stock market or look at my bank account, move some money, blah, blah, blah. Like, they're not going to tell you, I don't know. A successful person know what they're going to do every single day. 
So find a schedule, bro. Find a hey, Monday through Friday, I'm going to grind. Saturday and Sunday, I'm going to chill. I might work out, but I'm going to rest a little bit, catch my feet, all that, and I'm going to get back to it on Monday. Just, so just find a schedule, bro. I mean, you can have fun and shit, but I mean, I don't go out personally, but you can have fun, but just have a schedule, but have a balance. Four is focus. Without focus, bro, yo ass, you're done. I ain't even gonna lie, cause, hey, cause it's so easy to get distracted in this world, bro. Like it's everything's meant to distract you. I can't lie to you. So focus, bro. Like I ain't gonna lie. Right now I've been on the game. Like I love that shit. I, I can't lie. Two K twenty four. If you want smoke, let's do it. But like focus, bro. Like I might be on the game for two hours, but then I'd be like, Shh, I gotta hit the bank. I gotta I gotta do this. So when it comes to that, I'm off the game, bro. Like I'm I'm going to handle business, like. It's just that. So, like, if you find yourself doing shit like that and you can't, boom, go take care of business, it come along with your focus. Like, get your focus right. Where's your mental? Like, go along with the people that be around you. We're going to get into that later. But just focus, bro. Find a focus. Know what you want. And remember your plan to achieve it, bro. Five is motivation. This can come from yourself. I know this shit comes from myself and partially how I grew up. But motivation, bro, just what makes you get up out of bed every day and go do what you do uh, or whatever. What is the reason why you got your plan? Like, why you want to do some of those things? So just find some motivation, bro. Like, that shit could be your dog. <laughs> like, it could be because you want nice shit. It could be because you didn't have money growing up. Or it could be because... You had money, but you want to build a life for yourself or things of that nature. So it could be anything, bro. Like, it don't got to be because you just grew up hard. Some people didn't grow up hard. They grew up pretty good, but they just want better for themselves. You know what I'm saying? So find a motivation, and that's a big percentage of what's going to take you to that next level. Six is multiple bank accounts. I know you hear this, you can be like, bro. I be struggling with my one checking account and my savings. Like, what is you talking about? I'm telling you, bro. This shit gonna take you to the next level. I'm telling you. I got a total of five bank accounts. That's just bank accounts. Of course, investments accounts and shit like that. But I got a total of five bank accounts. You can't do what you want to do and go to the next level of life with one, two bank accounts, checking and savings. That shit generic as hell. You automatically putting yourself in the category as the average American, the average citizen in the U.S., bro. Like, which is okay, but if you want to go to the next level, bro, you, you can't be like that. Like, I believe you should have a check-in, okay, checking bills maybe, savings. That's like your life savings. Then have a little savings for unexpected expenses like emergencies like the average person in the world can't even afford a 500 dollars emergency bro so think about that like you grown now you ain't under your mama roof or maybe you still is but like shit gonna happen you know what i'm saying so like you go to the hospital you go to the doctor and you get like a bill for 500 dollars you can't pay it i'm telling you bills and debt and shit would be the reason you you fall off so just be ready for that you got the multiple accounts and stuff and you navigating your money in different areas, you ain't got to worry about nothing. So multiple accounts, bro. I say, I got five, but I say at least three. A check and a savings and an emergency. On to number seven is save and invest. And it's kind of piggyback on to like the multiple bank, bank accounts thing, but saving and investing your money. So whether it's $5, $10, whatever. I swear to God, I used to be so bad with my money, bro. Like, I was making good money, all that. This started in high school, bro. And I used to, excuse my language, I used to just fuck the money off. Like, it would be a thousand, two thousand, and like, I'd come back to the bros and be like, that shit gone. It's what I got, though. And that shit's stupid, right? I ain't gonna lie. Like, that shit dumb as hell. Like, I don't know. It's just dumb as fuck. But save your money, bro. Like, it don't matter how much it is, bro. Don't 
Don't pay attention to what other people. I say five thousand dollars last month. That shit don't matter. When they was first starting, I promise you they weren't saving five thousand. So save a good amount, but save what you can, bro. But also think about what you're spending. Like oh, I could go buy these shoes, or I could just chill for another two weeks and put that price of them shoes back into the savings type shit. You know what I'm saying? And then investing. I'm not too big in the stock stock market right now. I dip and dabble in it, but that shit with the economy, bro, it's just like you one second away from you losing your money, which is a gamble, like take a risk for an award, but you gotta be smart with, with your situations, what you got going on in life. Can you dip and dabble right now, like type shit. So I ain't really fucking with the stock market right now, but investing as far as, I do have investment accounts, but like I said, it's not about me. It's about y'all, like investment accounts, would be some of the things that will dictate your future. So they're not gonna help you right now, which they can, you can get a small return right now in investments or sometimes a big return quickly, but most investments are gonna be what dictates your future. So when you retire, if you retire early, if you can retire early, sometimes people can retire early due to them investing at a young age and continuously investing. So that's why I invest now. I mean, it don't got to be no crazy amount of money, but like accounts like I have a, market, a money market account. If that junk got, I'm just speaking broadly, like it has nothing to do with me. But like that account got 2% interest and you got $10,000 in there. Bro, over a year, that junk going to gain like probably 80 to to $100. That don't sound like a lot, but... It's compounding interest, so it's going to bounce off of each other. It's going to keep building and building and building. And come time for you, 40, 50 years old, and you got 100000 in the bank just off small investments on top of your retirement and all these other things, you can live freely. Then you can go spend it on your grandkids. You can go get them whatever they want. Or your kids, buy them a house, like whatever. Like You can do things like that. So you got to think about the future when it comes to saving and investing. Number eight is credit. Let me be smart about this, but credit. Okay, if you don't know what this is, learn what the hell it is. Credit is what is really gonna take you to the next level. A lot of people, I don't want debt, I don't want this, I don't want that. Not all debt is bad debt. I cannot lie to you. It, it ain't. Credit is one of the most beautiful things in the world. And it will get you a nice, a lot of nice shit without you using your money. Why would you, the government gonna use you regardless. So why would you not use other people's money? <laughs> Cause they gonna use your shit. When you work for your shit and they take your shit to taxes, why would you not use other people's money? Especially if it benefits you. So credit, bro, get credit cards. I have multiple credit cards for a reason, but if you ain't got a credit card, go get one at least. Go get one. You can get a pre-approval, get one inquiry on your credit report, which is not going to hurt you, and start building your credit. And then just bounce off that. Every six months, go get a new credit card. Or every 12 months, go get a new credit card and just start building that. Because when you get older, that shit, that shit going to matter. When you start a business, you need, you need credit history. You need all that. So credit is key, bro. Like, bro, cash, I'm sorry, I... I do not walk around with cash. Like, that shit is irrelevant in 2023. I, I can't lie to you. But just be smart about the credit thing. Manage it well. And it can it can buy you a lot of shit. Like, for real. Number nine has nothing to do with money or nothing like that. It is good support system around you. So whether it's your family, moms, whatever, who in the picture, friends, all that, like, close relatives, whatever, or work people or coworkers or a preacher, what, whatever, bro. Like, seriously, just a good support system. Like some people don't got a lot, but those people that surround you that bring positivity, keep them folks around you and then bring them along too. Like don't take off on them, bring them around because they going to be the ones to help you. You can't do this shit by yourself. I used to think I could do everything by myself and I didn't get to that next level that I wanted to. And when I start actually allowing people to support and things like that, I went to that next level just because I had that support behind me. Like, 
telling me, hey, you doing good, shit like that. So you can't do this shit on your own, bro. Especially without God, like that junk ain't gonna happen. So keep a good support system around you. And then no folks that's not really there for you, like doing some fuck shit, like doing bullshit, get them folks around you. Like, <laughs> get them out. I ain't gonna like, cause them the folks that's gonna be your downfall. You could become successful in two years, but with them, you probably won't become successful for 30 years and then they still won't be your friend. So like, learn your surroundings, bro. You, you gotta be real on point. I'm real on point. I do not fuck with crash dummies. Like, folks that just be on stupid stuff. Like, you're not gonna be around me. I don't care if you call me Hollywood or whatever. I got something to lose and I'm very valuable. So I don't play that shit. So, watch who you keep around you, bro. Cause yeah, you might love them, but them folks really don't fuck with you like that. I'm telling you. So be smart about that shit. And then the last one, it's gonna sound crazy as hell, but live life like it's a game because it is. This shit is a full fucking game. The same games you play on the box and PS5, all that, or on your phone, whatever. That shit is, this shit is a game. I can't lie. You can ask all the older people, life is a game, bro. And all you gotta do, you gonna fail, you, you gonna, you gonna fuck up all that, but bro, keep going. And that game that you be playing on the sticks and shit, when you fuck up, you get mad and shit, all that, blah, 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 but I bet your ass get right back on it and try to complete that motherfucker again. And then when you complete, you try to complete some other shit. So you gotta think of it as like a, like a game. Make this shit, dumb it down, make life simple. A lot of folks make life hard. This shit ain't hard. This shit is a big ass game. Like, it's a joke. I can't lie to you, life is a joke. It's just facts. The fact that it cost me, well, it depends how far I'm driving, blah, blah, blah. But it cost me money for me to drive somewhere. It's crazy. Like, it cost me money for me to be able to call somebody. It cost me money to be able to go online because I need Wi-Fi. Life is a game, bro. Like, it costs you all this money to do it and you don't get nothing in return for that shit. But being able to do certain things, like, it's a game, bro. What if life was completely free? Like, wouldn't nothing change, right? Like, this shit would just be free. So just treat this shit like it's a game, bro. Make this shit simple on yourself because you go stressing yourself out and go back to that plan. You, you're you not going to get the things that you need to get done as far as that plan if you stressing yourself out or making it seem harder than it is because shit ain't hard. I can't lie. I'm not going to tell you that like, oh, it's going to come overnight, this, this, and that. And also, I'm not the most successful person in the world. Like, I still got some shit that I need to get done. But... I'm getting to it. It's simple as that. But don't make this shit hard, but this shit is all a game. And that concludes the 10 things that I believe that you need to become successful. Whether you use them or not, that's up to you. But my whole fucking life changed based off this shit. So I believe you'd be a fool if you didn't. But hey, that's on you, bro. If you want to get to that next level, do what you got to do. I know some folks that can vouch for this shit because I done put them on. I done showed them a few ways where they can take their life to the next level. And it's done happen, and they seen it happen. So, hey, if them folks doing it, I got to be saying something that's right. So, shit. It's up to y'all if y'all believe it. But, hey, I got to be right about something because I'm living pretty fucking good. I can't lie to you. But... That concludes this video. This is something different. This ain't car related. So I don't know if y'all gonna fuck with it, but I had to get this shit off my mind because it's part of the younger generation, bro. We got a lot of shit to do. And a lot of us is we slacking. So step your game up, bro, and get to it and take care of what y'all need to take care of. And I'll hit y'all in the next one.